How a 1950s Danish law allowed Margaret II to become Queen of Denmark, you are most welcome to Spice Royal News. Before we continue please subscribe and hit the notification bell for more updates. When it comes to monarchies in Europe, the British royal family is probably the first that comes to mind. However, they are only one of 12 ruling monarchies on the continent, per Milandon. One thing that Britain can boast of its royal family is Queen Elizabeth II's 70 year reign, which is the second longest in world history. The only other European queen with this title is Queen Margaret II of Denmark. She ascended the throne in 1972, after the death of Frederick IX of Denmark per Royal Central. Margaret is only the second queen to sit on the Danish throne. The first was Margaret I of Denmark, the daughter of Valdemar IV of Denmark. She married Haakon VI of Norway and was considered a consort and renant due to her father being king. This was despite the Danish act of succession favoring a male heir, but thanks to a certain change in law centuries later, Margaret was crowned Queen of Denmark, but why did this happen and how did it help Margaret become heir presumptive to the Danish monarchy? The Danish Act of Succession was changed in 1953 at the time of Queen Margaret II of Denmark's birth in 1940. There was no constitutional way she would rule the Nordic country one day, as only males were permitted to inherit the throne. But on March 27, 1953, Royal Danish women were finally given the right to succession, however, there was a catch. Despite women being given the opportunity to ascend the throne, men were still sought after as heirs, meaning a girl would be skipped over as heir presumptive if they had a younger brother, but Margaret remained heir presumptive as she had two younger sisters, Princess Benedict of Denmark and Queen Anne Marie of Greece. Margaret was 13 years old when this change to the act of succession was enacted, but it would be a while before she took to the throne herself. After her father's death, she was crowned Queen of Denmark in 1972, Denmark altered the act of succession, even further it took even longer for the Danish act of succession to be changed further, i.e., that the firstborn would become the reigning monarch, regardless of gender. It wasn't until 2009 that Denmark voted for a historical change in the line of succession after a vote, an overwhelmingly large 84.6% of voters supported the change. In response, then Prime Minister Lars Lachie Rasmussen said the decision was a strong signal that shows that we want to be a society where men and women have the same opportunities, whether it is for ordinary people or princes and princesses two years later, the British monarchy followed suit and announced a change to their act of succession in 2013. Thanks for watching till the end, please subscribe to my channel, God bless you.